Hi, welcome back. Adam Rosen here. So today um, we're going casual because I'm going to exercise with you. Um, one of the common issues that patients may run into in the recovery is getting that knee totally straight. So after surgery, you have swelling, you have scar tissue that can build up. And before surgery, you may have had what we call a flexion contracture. And although we talk a lot about getting the bend, getting flexion, Getting straight is also important, and it's extremely important for when you stand up because you need to lock that leg straight so you can stand in line and stand at an event so the, the muscles don't get tired. So there's a number of exercises that you can do to straighten it. Um, these are four, but the top two, the first two I'm going to show you are probably the most common exercises that I review with my patients if they're having difficulty getting straightening. And there's two kinds of straightening. So the first one that we're going to review um, is an exercise you've seen me do before, but this is an exercise for patients that actively and passively can't fully straighten the knee, meaning they straighten it and I push it and it's just kind of stuck there a couple degrees shy of full extension. And that usually is due to either tightness of the hamstrings or tightness of the capsule. The capsule is the bag of tissue that surrounds your knee. So it's why athletes get water on the knee or you get swelling. So we wanna slowly stretch out that capsule and stretch out those hamstrings, especially if they've been very, very tight. The second exercise I'm gonna show you is for patients that have the ability to fully straighten the knee, but they can't do it actively, meaning that I ask them to bend their knee, they straighten their leg, they, br they bring it up to here and they're stuck. And then I grab their heel and say, relax, and their leg straightens. And that is a muscle weakness thing so we're going to work on one exercise that focuses on that. And then I'll show you two other simple exercises that you might add in if you're one of these people that's struggling to get those last few degrees of straightening. So here we go. We'll start with the first one, which is this leg extension chair exercise. Okay, so you may have seen me do this in another exercise video. I normally recommend this one straightening and one bending exercise after knee replacement after breakfast, lunch, and dinner to work on the straightening and the bending. If I meet somebody at one month that might be struggling with those last few degrees, I recommend that they do this every hour on the hour for 30 seconds. And most people at the end of two, three, four weeks can get those last couple degrees and the need is totally straightened. So what you'll do is take a chair or an ottoman in front of you, take your heel, put your heel up on that chair. And if the knee is a little bit bent, you're going to first activate the quad muscle by squeezing the quad, straightening the knee. Think of engaging the quad, pulling the kneecap up, pushing the back of the knee to the floor, however you need to think about it, but your muscle has to engage because it automatically relaxes the back muscle, the hamstring. You don't even have to think about it. If you pick up a jug of milk, your bicep fires. Your tricep automatically relaxes so the elbow can straight or can bend and sh it stretches this muscle. The same thing happens here. When you fire this muscle, it relaxes the back. And then take both of your hands, use the web space between your first and second, put it on your upper thigh, usually above the incision so it doesn't hurt. And then with a few pounds of pressure, push. It's gonna hurt. You're gonna feel this. Your goal is to get that down, hold it for 30 seconds. If you can do that every hour, what you'll find is it slowly stretches out the back of the leg. So again, fire the quad, take the hands, push, hold for 30 seconds. And what you'll do is try to do that every hour. So 9 a.m., 10 a.m., you forgot, it's 10.30. Okay, do it again. It's 11.15, good. It's 12.30, you forgot. At least this way, you're doing it six, maybe eight, 10 times a day. Because if you think about it, when you sit, your knee is not straight. When you're on the toilet, it's not straight. When you sleep, it's not straight. When you're in the car, it's not straight. So there's multiple times throughout the day where your knee is bent and you're working on the straightening. So if you wait and only do the therapy twice a day or three times a day, in that interval, the knee has gotten tighter again. So this is just a way of every hour stretching out those back muscles. So now when you do walk and when you do do the therapy, you're able to stretch out that tissue a little better, a little easier. And what you'll notice over a few weeks is that knee will get straighter and straighter. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the second way 
to work on straightening. So for this exercise, this is specifically for people that don't have full strength in the quad or the thigh muscle to straighten the leg, but they can straighten. They can straighten passively. So this is a patient that I have sitting on the examination room table. I ask them to straighten their leg. The leg comes almost all the way up, but not all the way up. I grab their heel, I say, relax, the leg straightens. So this means that they have the ability for the knee to straighten, they have the flexibility, but they don't have the strength. So going to the gym and getting on the leg extension machine or sitting in a chair and doing a hundred leg lifts doesn't fix the problem because all you're doing is working on the strength that you already have. The problem is from here to here. So this exercise is specific for those people that are lacking these last few degrees of straightening called an extensor lag. So what you'll do is get a, um, you can get a, a Nerf soccer ball um, or a football or a towel, or in this case, I have a blanket and you wanna roll it up. And if you're gonna do this exercise for a while, it's best to even use some twine or tape to hold it together. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this underneath your knee. And then what we're gonna do is work on straightening the leg. So first things first is you're gonna take your foot, engage the foot, pull the ankles up. And you wanna think of this in a few different ways. Either take the heel and lift the heel up, take the knee and push the knee into the pillow or towel, fire your quad or all three. And what you may notice in the beginning is you can barely lift it or you can lift it and it shakes and it trembles because it's weak and then it drops. And that's why we're here because you're weak. So what we're gonna do is work on targeting this muscle engage the leg, lift it up. And if you can hold it for a count of five, great. And then don't drop it, hold it and try to on like a three count, let your heel come down slowly. So you're just going to start doing one at a time to make sure that you can engage it, control it and relax it. Once you can do one, you can start doing multiple repetitions. You can start with doing five, but don't come down each time. Try to keep that muscle engaged the whole time. And once you can do five, you can relax. And then you can do 10, 15, 20, up to 30. You might start doing sets of 10, or you might start doing it and holding it for longer. So you can lift it and hold it for a count of 10 or hold it for a count of 30. And by doing that, you're gonna engage that muscle. Talk to your doctor or therapist, because some people have real difficulty getting that muscle to wake up and there might be other issues that are causing it or other things that you can add to this exercise that will help get that strength back. Okay, I told you I would give you those two plus two bonus exercises. So this is another exercise that you can do if you're struggling with getting those last couple degrees of straightening. You might be having a cup of coffee, having a cup of tea, reading a book, watching TV. And what you can do is get a backpack and you can put some weights in it or soup cans, just something to have a little bit of weight. And the nice thing about the backpack is it has pads already built in and you can slide it up over your leg, above your incision, onto your thigh muscle, some people might even use a purse and you can put some stuff in the purse. Take your foot up and put it on that other chair or stool or ottoman and just let it hang. So while you're doing whatever you're doing, this thing is gonna pull and pull and pull. If it starts to get uncomfortable, you might lift it and get a little rest or just do it for intervals. Let it rest and then when you're done, come back up. But this is another simple way if you're struggling to get the straightening just due to tightness in the hamstrings, of just gently stretching that while you're focusing on something else. Okay, very last one. So this is one that um, a lot of people will hear recommended by doctors and therapists. I find a lot of my patients um, have difficulty doing this one because it's uncomfortable, but you can try this and see if it works for your knee if you're one of these people that's struggling with getting that knee straight. You can do this on a sofa, you can do it on a bed, but what you wanna do is line yourself up so your knee is just over the edge of the bed and then just straighten your leg, let it hang. And again, if, if you're you know really able to tolerate it, you can even again add an ankle weight or have somebody put a little weight over your heel and it'll drag it down even more, but this will really work on getting this thing straight. You just have to make sure that you can tolerate this both on your incision and the discomfort of laying on your belly if you have back issues and also with the straightening of the leg and make sure that someone's nearby when you start this. So if it gets uncomfortable that they can lift or you can you know, catch the other leg and 
get it so you can pull it over. Okay, well, there you have it. So these are four basic, simple exercises that you can do if you're one of those people after total knee replacement surgery that's struggling with getting that knee totally straight, getting full extension. Um, always talk to your doctor or therapist to make sure that there's not other confounding factors that might be causing your problem. But if these are exercises that have been explained to you and you just need a refresher just to see how they work and what to do and just as a reminder on the steps of getting in and out of these exercises, these hopefully will help you. So again, if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe. Um, if you like this type of content, be sure to click the thumbs up button below. Um, and even you can click the little bell button, which will alert you when new videos like this come up. Um, until next time, I'm Adam Rosen. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Mm -hmm.